Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, you already tell, lips are slightly out of sync. The audio for this video was terrible. It was next level. It was inaudible, some might even say. So, I hope you don't mind too much, but the first little bit, my lips are gonna be out of sync because, because of that, yeah. So, I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna be doing today. I felt like doing another body paint, like my Bob Ross, but I'm gonna up it a little bit. This time, I ain't got no tutorial to follow. So I'm going to be painting this beautiful night landscape kind of over the ocean galaxy thing on my little chest. Okay, I nearly just said chesticles then, which would have been highly inappropriate. Just my chest, not my chesticles. So in a minute, I'm just going to pop up on the screen this lovely photo that I was trying to reference for it. I'm not sure who exactly is the owner or who I should credit for this, but if you guys do know, I will try my hardest to find that out as well. Now, before we go ahead, I'm gonna apologize. I did not realize that it didn't like unfocus my background. I didn't think you were gonna be able to see how crinkled the backdrop is. I apologize, I am hopeless at this, help me. So just a little heads up for the actual inspiration for today's look. I do follow this incredible artist on Instagram. Her name is Jez Douglas. She paints these beautiful chest pieces on her and then does some really nice beauty makeup on her face to match. Now, I will leave her socials linked down below. You should definitely go check her out if you haven't already. She is another Australian babe, so it's always mwah, great to support some locals. I say locals, we're a big ass country. I don't know her personally. As well, if you were interested in the lashes on my face, speaking of Australians, this is by Deadly Sins Cosmetics. This is not sponsored, obviously. I just like supporting small little Aussie brands. This is by a chick that I was in the Face Awards with a couple of years ago. Her name is Elise. She does have this brand. They've got some new lashes that have just dropped. So I do have Vicious on my eyes at the moment, but there is also another one called Unholy, which they have launched. I do, of course, have a review on the lipsticks already. So if you are interested in sussing out this brand, I will leave it linked down below. I will also leave a link down to the lipstick review video down below as well if you want to check that out. So I think I'm about to start wrapping up this intro and I think I'm about to do a really weird hand movement and say, let's get crack a lack in. And uh, yep, yeah, mm-hmm, it's happening. So again, just like the Bob Ross tutorial, I am going in with some Ben Nye cream colors. I do have an array, there's like blues, blacks, greens, yellows, pinks, whites, the whole shabam. And I'm just starting with the, I like to start the middle section, like where the galaxy is in this look. And then I'm just going in with the darker colors around it and slowly building it up. I do find that it can become quite streaky, so you do just have to take it slow and just really work at building it up base by base. No, that's not correct. Bit by bit is what I was trying to say. What am I? So next up, I'm just going in and applying where the sky finishes and it meets the kind of ocean. Just with a nice black line because I did find that that was where the actual picture was the darkest. Now don't stress about having it too even. It is quite a dark body paint. No one's gonna be too picky about it, I promise. I then just go back in and completely fill in the color of the night sky just because I was finding it really hard to actually picture it without having this nice cohesive color all over my chest. So then I'm just going in with black and starting at where the water begins and just really darkening up the actual kind of whole picture. I also go around the edges of my shoulders, underneath my neck, just to make you really focus on the brightest part of the picture, which is of course the middle of it. So just really working around with that, blending it in. I don't really know what I'm doing guys, but I'm just making it up as I go and hopefully it'll turn out a-okay. So I'm just going in with some light gray now to create the ocean. So I'm just doing a nice thick band of light gray and then down the bottom I do have some black. I will of course be blending it together shortly after that and you will not be left with much light gray at all. I do find that you just want that nice little burst right in the center of the photo where you want your eyes drawn to the most. So then going in, and if you see in the photo, there is this kind of like nice greeny yellow tinge underneath the galaxy. So I'm just going in and trying to apply that. I did struggle with actually getting the correct color. I don't know how to mix colors very well yet. So I am just working on that. I do go in and tweak it a little bit more after this, just adding a bit more yellow and some other colors but just really adding a nice disperse of that underneath the galaxy, just to get a rough idea of where I needed it to go. Then just with a nice light blue, I'm going in underneath the white that I put down in the beginning, and then going in with a little bit more darker and just kind of shaping out the actual galaxy. I was just really struggling to see it all come together until I gave that a little bit more shape. So just adding some more whites, some more blues, and just really playing with that until I was happy with the shape that came out of it. 
So I do spend a lot of time going actually back and forth between the colors, blending them out, adding a bit more back, blending it out again, adding some more back, just to really get the colors and sharpness that I was happy with. So then I do go in with, I'm gonna describe it as a cloud, but it's not a cloud. It's like the emptiness of the galaxies, the black, the dark abyss. So I go in and just pat that all on because I wanted it to look jagged, but I found the best way to describe what you're trying to achieve is it looks like a cloud. So I just go back in and kind of make some colors pop, make that look really dark, and just really make sure your eyes are drawn to that center of the chest. I did find it really hard to find the happy medium between sharp, nice cloud and too blended. So you will see that I was going back and forth with blending it, adding back some more color, blending it, going in as gently as I possibly could because I didn't want to just make it one big muddled mess. And then I just felt like the white was getting lost with the blue and the green. So I just go in and really kind of punch in some darkness right underneath it and just cut it real kind of nice and just what you want to be. You want it to be really nice and bright just in that center and give it a little bit of shape. I just felt like it had dispersed and gone all over the chest. Again, I felt like the emptiness was getting a little bit lost. And yes, I did throw in a little bit of cheeky pink and orange in there, but didn't tell you about it. But just with a little bit of kind of light blue, I'm just going in around the edge of the deep dark abyss and just really making it stand out because it kind of got lost in the whole background. So I was very happy with how that turned out. And then here's the fun part, applying a million. I'm pretty sure it was pretty close to a million stars. I did count them. Uh, just all over the galaxy, just I kind of kept it lighter towards the center and a lot more dense of stars around the outside, just trying to keep it as realistic as possible and then just patting out any of them that I felt were too bright and in your face. And there you have it guys, that is the finished look. I am pretty happy with how it turned out, not gonna lie. Because I didn't have a tutorial, I wasn't sure how it was gonna go, but I did a fair bit better than I was expecting to actually go. And if you guys are enjoying these chest paints, please let me know. I am actually really enjoying doing a bit more of a full body. It's kind of the largest paint part of my body that I can actually paint on. And it's just a nice kind of mix up. I could of course add some gory twists or something else like that if you guys are interested, but please let me know down below because I'm always happy to hear some of your suggestions as well. If there's any photos that you'd like to see me recreate, send them my way. I'm not sure how to do it, maybe Instagram or Twitter, links are in the description. But thank you once again, guys, for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button so you do not miss out on any other tutorials I have coming for you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.